friend here about um, kind of first we talked about what is fundamental uh, in belief in, in Islam in terms of like what are the, the really the core and, and, and your yes. patriotic so talking about just believing truly in the one God yes uh, and I guess what I was wanting to get at is what actions does one take with that belief like what are the fundamental actions that uh, Islam like draws you to as opposed to, to what you might do if you weren't I Islamic if that makes sense like what is that uh, I'm fine then. Yeah. Can I have a water? Bottle of water, please. Yeah. Um, what I was interested in is, yeah, like to show that or to truly live that. Mm. What actions do you take in life? Like, yeah, that, a very good question. Sense? Yeah. So, let me give you a bit of our belief. Sure. So our belief is we believe in one Creator. The Creator defines Himself as one. Absolute means you cannot use any partner with Him means he alone created everything. Therefore, he alone deserves to be worshipped. If anybody goes with this, against with this first premise, means most of the religious ideologies agree there is a higher being, but the issue happens when they start worshipping. So instead of worshipping that God truly, the share of worship goes to something else. Mm -hmm. And that is the greatest sin in Islam. And that will, if any Muslim believe that, it will he will be uh, not a Muslim anymore. The, the false Shep. idols and yes, false, one yeah, God yeah. above me. Sort of. mm -hmm. And Islam actually gives you that true monotheism. Okay. And that makes you Quran in an, Islam in a unique position. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Like so, we, we say all the messengers came with miracle. Mm -hmm. The idea of miracle is no, not to make them divine. The idea of miracle is to prove them to their community that they are the indeed messenger of God. Because God would not leave him without providing him a proof to their community. Mm -hmm. Now imagine if I come and tell you, look, I'm a messenger of God. You know I'm truthful, right? And you know I don't cheat or lie. But you would love to see something else. Mm -hmm. Show us some miracle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so show us some supernatural activity, yeah. then we would believe, right? Yeah. So, every time God sends messengers, they are impeccable characters supported by the miracle. The miracle. Uh -huh. And some miracles are time bound, and some miracles are timeless. Okay. At the moment, all of the miracles we have are time bound apart from one miracle like Moses parted the sea mm -hmm. you can't see the spirit sea now yeah yeah understood, understood. right right yeah, yeah. Jesus healed leper mm -hmm. cured the blind water into wine those sorts of things it's yeah, yeah it happened so but then... it happened community witnessed it yeah, yeah. and we have the record Quran affirmed it mm -hmm. even our prophet Muhammad peace be upon him sallallahu he cured one of the companion on a day before the battle and he asked that I will give the flag before a war so he said I will give the flag to the one who will be loved by Allah and his messenger and he will love equally Allah and his messenger and then he after following day on the day he said when the community come to him and he said they are eagerly waiting who should be who should be getting the flag? And then Prophet said, Where is Ali? One of the Khalif of Islam. He was later on, he was become Khalif after the death of Prophet, peace be upon him. Then he, they said, You know, he has an eye issue. And Prophet touched him, asked him to bring him to him. And then he touched it and it was cured as if he never had issues with this. So these are the miracles. A time bound miracle. Yeah. But we have something called timeless miracle. And that is called Quran. Do you know much about Quran? Not much. Quran is the book, the last and final book. First of all, the book itself make a claim it's a word of God. Yeah. When a book make a claim of word of God, what would you like to see in the book? Uh, it's very hard to answer because I feel like uh, 
particularly with uh, translation from the original language. Yeah. Like language evolves over time. Yeah. I guess one of the things I would like to see is a lineage of understanding of what that really means mm. through language translation. So like a, a, a like a continu continuity through translations of the interpretation of the book is probably okay. what I would. Yeah. I think you would firstly would say, okay, I would like to see is this book preserved. Well, that, yes, yes, that's a good a good word for it, preserved. Yeah. 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 It's that preserve the ideal as well. Yeah. yeah. So in Islam, we Muslim, we believe that the Quran is the only book in the face of the earth has been preserved. And Allah mentioned that he will make sure this is preserved. So Allah himself, who's sending that message to Muhammad, peace be upon him. Within the Quran, Allah telling Muhammad Islam and us, that he will, he has the authority to preserve it. Now, when this revelation came to Prophet Muhammad by 23 years of time, piece by piece, you know, it's coming to, so that Prophet can learn and apply it. Because the book is guidance, you need to apply it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and Allah said, you know, he received in a peace mission so that the strengthen of the heart to a Prophet and application of it. <laughs> Otherwise, if the all guidance come together, you lost. Okay, how I'm gonna apply it, right? Too much all at once. So. Yeah. So the Quran, when the revelation started coming, Prophet is to memorize. So Allah sent Angel Gabriel. Angel Gabriel recited to him. He memorized it. Then he said to his companion. The companion memorized it. Then he tell companion to tell him, recite him back. Why he told them recite him back? Preservation. Right? To make sure they memorize. Yeah, right? yeah. And then he told those who memorized and understood, tell them, teach your generation like that. So not only he memorized it, understood it, he also shows a way how to memorize and preserve it. It, in, it is in so much care that every letter has a certain way of pronunciation. Okay. So you cannot just read as you wish, no? Quran has some grammars in it. Okay. And we call it makhraj, means how the letter exit from your mouth. So if I read the, the English translation, of course how do you, I... No, English translation is a message. Mm -hmm. It's a translation. Yeah. But the actual Quran is in Arabic. Okay. This is an understanding for you what is in the message. Yeah. But the features of Quran, the taste of Quran is through reciting. Yeah, I guess. Have you, have you heard how in the mosque they recite Quran? I haven't actually, to be honest. Right. So if you look how or listen to how the Quran recited, it touch people heart and it is not like music or it's not like anything else you know okay. even when the Quran was revealed to the Arabian community in 1400 years ago the community was known to be the best poets of all time means the best poet of all time are living there and you know Muslim history and non-Muslim history recorded that. But once Quran came and revealing, you know, and Prophet Muhammad was reciting, they are the master of this language. They're saying, whoa, where is these words are coming from? When Shakespeare say, this is beyond my comprehension, English language, that is means something beyond special because he is the master of this. So the master of this, master of this language, and the poetry, Walid ibn al mughira one of the famous ones, he even shocked. So the Quran, going back to the point, right? Yeah. So the Quran, when you look at each stages, and it takes 23 years to complete this process. There are thousands of people memorized from Prophet. What they have did, these people taught 
exactly the same way to their next generation and that gen the generation followed next generation and then continuous so going up and now now yeah. now you can check it now you can pick one child from korea one child from south america one from asia and one from maybe antarctica somewhere okay four muslim child or 10 muslim child sorry <laughs> and tell them maybe find one of the chapter and tell them read me without looking the third ayat we call it ayat means ayat you can call it sentence ayat also meaning ayat meanings big to the sign okay. s-i-g-n so every verse of the quran are sign yeah. s-i-g-n sign. Sign, yeah. sign from who god so so you have four children and then you ask them to recite back you will see exact recitation. So very well preserved. Very, very well preserved. Now, once you have that preservation available to you, and it was cared in such a way that no set, not a single things I know of goes through that care. In my worldview, I do not know of anything exist in the reality yeah. like Quran that level of that level of preservation yeah. and even even if you make a small mistake straight away someone will correct you mm -hmm. and in our prayer often sometimes imam makes mistake you know while he's reciting leading the prayer 10 15 straight away correct him so as soon as revelation comes to prophet Salaam, it become a public property means it was accessible like unlike yeah. unlike other books yeah. Yeah. so that the community can receive the guidance knowing what i have said about quran i can go for like another two hours <laughs> talks about preservation in step understood, but, understood but do you believe in a creator sorry do you believe in a creator uh i believe something must have like there must have been something before yeah. Sure. Uh, I don't know if I would term it straight. I like something like we can't have come from nothing. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Um, therefore. And the self-creation cannot be possible. Yeah. And everything around us is finite. It's not infinite. Yeah. yeah. Means temporal. So a logical person would not conclude that. Yeah. And if someone makes you existent from nothingness. What do you think? Must be all powerful? Yeah. Must be must possess all knowing ability because if if he doesn't know then how can he create? Mm -hmm. And when I'm using he, I'm not referring that being or Allah as a male or a female. No, I understand. I understand. Yeah? yeah they, can I have a translation? I've yeah. I've now, let, let me open it and I, I want you to read. I want to read. I want to read. Uh, I want you to read, yeah, the definition of what being we say Allah, which is the creator of the heavens and the earth, right? Yeah, this is called chapter. I'm fine, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank Are you sure? You. Yeah, no, I'm good, man. I'm good. So that chapter called Al Ikhlas means sincerity. Okay. So we believe if you are sincere, it negates you or it allows you to negate any association or partnering with God. Mm -hmm. Means, if you know who God is, then you can prevent yourself giving your thanks and worship to someone else. Does and, it make sense? Yeah. And, and false idols if you are... Yeah, exactly. And that's why Allah said, O oh people, you should know God first. Mm. Quran commands Fa'alam. No. Fa'alam annahu la ilaha. That no, there is no other God apart from Allah Allah so he tells his name is Allah the creator of the heavens and the earth now he is saying Qul huwa Allahu ahad. say he is God who is one means Allah is one no two no three and then he said God the eternal refuge so Allah is <coughs> self-sufficient everything else depend on him he is independent of anything meaning me and you and everybody 
we eat, sleep, and drink. The creator of the heavens, Allah, is not needing of these things. He provides those things. If you stop providing it, we will be gone, finish. And that's what Allah is telling that everything depends on Him and He is independent. So He didn't just leave you and me alone in this universe without, yeah, exact, without sustenance, like oxygen and all these things we receive. And then Allah tells us, there are community and a religious group, they start ascribing partner with Him. Imagine if someone tells a lie about you. Yeah. What would you do? You just say, look, I didn't do that. Yeah. You just go and make a refutation. So Allah is here refuting the idea. He neither begets nor born. Means you are ascribing a son to me, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I don't have a son. I don't have a father. I'm not like creation. Don't you get it? Mm. Presupposes. Uh... Yeah, because he's not like creation. He is unlike the creation. Four. Creation, Jesus, everything, live and die and start, they all are creation. Yeah, yeah. And the creator doesn't fall on that category. He brings everything into existence. Mm. So therefore, it doesn't apply to him. And then Allah saying, nor is there to him any equivalent. It means you cannot compare anything with God. Mm -hmm. it makes sense. One, it makes sense. Does that make sense to you as as a being that you always see or? It it broadly makes sense, yeah. I'd say uh, there's still areas I gotta you know need to think about, but it broadly makes sense. Yeah. What would you say that what would you like to see to believe in? Barkalov. What would you like to see to believe in Barkalov? I don't know at this stage. I don't know. There's maybe a natural... You see, you rationally convinced about the concept of the Creator. We looked into this Quranic say... argument, you know? The argument in the Quran, Allah said, you know what you are saying in earlier? Yeah. This argument also in the Quran. Allah said Agreed. that, you look at the creation. Did this creation give birth to itself? Or did it come from nothing? But Allah, in the following verse said, Allah said, Balla yuknun, means you have no certainty. Those who are rejecting it, they have no certainty. So Allah not only telling about the argument, Allah also telling about the state of those people who are denying it. Now, who can know your state? The one who made you. Perhaps. There is no other way. I think I'm saying and there's no, no other no, way. No, no, I, I think that I've... I think about uh, maybe computing and things where I've created something that I don't necessarily understand fully. Yeah. So to some extent, I want like I think there can be a creator, perhaps not an ultimate creator, but a creator in, in some stage of the process that then create then create something out of what they get given that doesn't fully understand what they've done. So the idea that your creator must fully understand you, I would say like I know people that build things and don't fully understand what they've built. Okay, I think. Uh, if that makes sense. And I think, I think what the the concept of creation, we should not mix up with concept of assembling things together. Yes, fair. That's fair. That's very fair. So what you are addressing is called assembly. Yeah. So someone That's say, fair. look, I can make this building, and I'm the creator of the building. No, you are not. You are the assembler Sembler, of the. Yeah, yeah. Means you didn't create that brick from nothing. Yeah. Ingredient. The pieces were there, and you. Yeah, exactly. You. Exactly. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's so. <laughs> And Allah is saying, you know, I am the provider of everything. What you do is assemble. In the first place, in order to assemble you, you wanted to assemble something. But if your hand doesn't work, you can't assemble yeah, it. Yeah. Then who gives you that hand? Yeah, yeah. Or the pieces, the pieces which built the hand, which were built to yeah. into the hand over. Yeah. 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 So therefore, logically, you should conclude that, okay, I am surrendering myself. There is a creator there. Because I have eliminated all impossibility. And let me tell you why that I I follow the argument you brought. Do you know why I follow this argument? Not only it tells you the creator exists, it's also eliminate one thing. Okay, imagine I'll give you ten box. Sorry. It, there is a box and I leave ten balls there. Ten balls. 
and out of 10 ball i tell you the yellow ball is the correct one yeah and rest of the balls are different colors so in order to find the yellow ball the best easiest way is to remove other balls sure and then you leave with you can see the yellow ball there it did two things it confirmed that you found the yellow ball which is the correct one and it's also confirmed you there is no other option available it eliminate the doubt one yellow ball. Yeah. so not only shows you one yellow ball it's also eliminate or have an idea that or oh, something else may be there that option also vanished so uh, what is it that eliminates the other options when we're talking about uh, the God of the Quran versus other representations of, yeah. of God like what, what, so, what eliminates those other balls exactly so on that argument follows like that there must be something sure I can follow that right that being must be all-powerful mm -hmm. yep. that must be all-knowing sure. then must be all-wise sure. now if you put that definition of God and look at all the religion you will find Islam ascribe these attributes to that their creator okay so you think that so so because Islam is the only one that describes those exact exactly yeah. that's why we call it this is the religion of fitra they know fitra mm -hmm. means this is how an innate being knows the god because on the process of elimination the god must have these characteristics and yeah, yeah the only so if you someone say look i'll give you counter argument now if someone say jesus is god yeah did he possess all power no he doesn't but okay because um, creator no, okay. has yeah. always powerful he cannot be a creator no, of one point the, the the or whatever, the, yeah the, so if creator will be always all powerful no, he can't be that. one powerful and suddenly he become weak it doesn't go with the creator I I so creator can do anything we say but he will do that befits him he can become do anything but he can't suddenly become weak yeah, yeah. yeah because it goes against with nature why should he even go do that no, I understand. if creator wanted to come to this universe yes he can but it will not suit him to come here i get that i get that so therefore if we apply that notion or the principle at a high level then those yeah, yeah that, that dictates yep yeah and then okay no that's that's interesting i guess the other for me the next step is then okay then how can you be and it comes back to that preservation exactly thing. now that's supported by say, okay if you are believing that the tenants and the actions yeah. that, that, yeah. that, that are then dictated by that yeah. how do you then say well that is must be what the, the god yeah. Yeah. advises you and yeah. then you have a living example which is which was prophet muhammad peace be upon him the most famous person in the planet history the most book has been written yeah most notable figure most common name in the world most common name in the yeah. world and allah said he will you know he will uh, you know uh, what do you call it um, in english allah will raise his status mm. means people will remember him mm. right so allah prophet guided prophet muhammad some of the way mm. even in the revelation allah is telling you i will protect you mm. i will guide you you are lost you I will guide you. Mm -hmm. I found you weak. I strengthen you. So Allah is telling about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the reality of, and yeah. Allah is telling Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that tell people worship Allah alone, and that is fair, and that is justice. Because you drink water, where does that water come from? You take oxygen, where does that come from? Did your parents give that? No. Then you shouldn't give this thanks and gratitude to this stone or statues. And do you know what type of response he used to get from his community? When he used to say, why do you worship? Okay, who created everything around us? So those pagan, they used to say, look, it is the creator, heavens, Allah, the creator. Then prophet used to ask, why do you worship this stone? And do you know what they answer? The answer they said, we have seen our forefather doing it. 
Copy so, yeah. So that's not a rational answer. No. Allah is saying, why don't you apply the reason? And then Prophet is saying, use your reason. And then Allah said, do not follow the forefather. Do not follow the society. Because they cannot lead you to the truth. Why Allah sent messenger? This is a big question. Why do you think? Because just I think mean, about a role model. Sorry? Role model. Think about a role model. Yeah, you can't. Uh, it's all very well, but you can't leave someone in dark. If you have a dictate for someone, you can't leave them in dark. Space. You want someone to do something, you can't just not tell them. You have to communicate. Yeah. That yeah, I, th I think the most simple message is a messenger come to guide people. Yeah. Because if you follow other people, they, may, they, can't, they can't guide you with the real truth because they didn't receive the, the, the revelation. Yeah, yeah. And revelation means that something you don't know, Allah revealed it, which, which you didn't know. So through your conviction, through your rationality, you know there is one creator. And then when your revelation come and confirm you, and then you see the Quran is preserved, and you have a prophet who is a living example. You see miracle. You witness miracle. You see his character. And you see his prophecy. You see prophecy. Means something he makes a claim that will come into future. Which will make it. You know, he make a bold claim. Not ambiguous claim. This will happen. This will happen. This will happen. When he make all the claim, and all the claim comes into true, then you gotta believe. Yeah. That's not a coincidence. Yeah. You can say, okay, ten claim he made, five come to true, we can happily reject him. Yeah. 50, 50. Yeah. And let me show you. There's one chapter in yeah, Bismillah. In chapter five, yeah, uh, I think I believe it's sixty-seven. One second, yeah. Oh, messenger, announce that which has been revealed to you. From your Lord and if you do not if you do not then you have not conveyed his message and God will protect you from the people mm -hmm. means if they wanted to harm you who will protect you Allah is telling Allah is indeed God does not guide the disbelieving people means someone who is constantly rejecting the message of God God doesn't guide them because once they know the truth and still you know, rejecting it constantly. And Allah knows the state of every soul. I cannot tell that, okay, someone is a disbeliever and say, oh, why you're not believing? No. It's the Allah's decision, right? So this one is one of the chapter revealed. And Allah is saying in the Quran that Allah will protect him. That means if he is killed, that means Quran is wrong. Yeah, yeah, sure. 23 years passed by. Several attempts has been made. And Allah, every time attempt made, Allah revealed this secret of information of Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. And I can go on many incidents. No, I appreciate that, mate. But I can give you one incident, which is in... When Prophet migrated to Medina. Mm -hmm. And... They... When he moved to Medina, they agreed, they made treaty with him. Because they are hostile, nomadic life, they are fighting with each other. So the Jewish tribe, and there is two pagan tribes, Aus and Hajraj, and there are three tribes in Medina, Banu Kainika, Banu Nadir, and uh, Banu Nadir, Banu Kainika, and Banu Nadir, Banu Kainika, and Banu Quraida. That's three tribes. And these tribes, the tribal fights among going on. In one point, I'm long story cutting it short. Because if I go no, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay, in one so. point, they plot, they want to kill him by throwing a boulder. So they invited him to meet in the middle to discuss something, not telling their prophet they will kill him. So, so prophet received that information through Jibril, that Allah sent an angel to tell him that this is the plot they are making. So every time he's in danger, Allah aided him. And 
it is very easy to kill someone at that time. Mm. It's a very nomadic life. Mm. Unless you have, unless you are a God messenger, they can kill you easily at that time. At that time. Yeah, at that yeah, time. Yeah, point in the world, yeah. So, and then Prophet Muhammad completed his message and he died natural death. Mm. After revealed the verse, you know, they know that challenge. If yeah. they killed him, they would say, look, the message is false. This is one of the strongest proof. And there are many, the Quran has many, many miraculous features. You'll be shocked to know what Quran brings to the table. I look forward to learning more. And thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I gotta run, but uh, appreciate your time. What, what about making yourself to be a Muslim? Do you see yourself? Uh, because you have, I have given you the compelling proof. It's been it's been very interesting. It's something I didn't think about more. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to. Shall we see you another time? I'll be here. I, yeah, no, I, 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 I live I live not far, so I'm sure if I see you coming by, I'll need to think about what you've said and. Come back perhaps with more questions. Yeah. Uh, but I appreciate your time and I appreciate but, your passion for no, it. No, 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 absolutely. And, but, uh, yeah. but like you say, you know. I don't want to reject, your, reject offhand, but I also don't want to jump in offhand. So no, no, I, I appreciate that. But one important thing is that we can take many messages. Mm -hmm. But if the message is so compelling and there is no good reason to deny that, and if the message continue contains threat and reward that if you follow it Allah is not beating around the bush yeah Allah is talking about there is two destination uh -huh. one is the paradise one is hellfire uh -huh. and we know our life is short creator of the heavens and the earth talking with authority and once you apply the Quran you can also eliminate the social problem you have at the moment uh, we don't have social structure yeah there's a lot of social problem I agree with that the Quran not only tell you who your creator is it addresses the issues that we are facing and it gives you the the true solution that society need the europe the world needed islam badly very very badly west need islam and in last few hundred last 30 or 50 years that spread too much lies about Islam. I definitely, yes. I, I can definitely. Do you know that. why? Because they don't want you to think straight. They want you to enslave. The society want to enslave you. Allah is telling you, do you want to enslave with your society? Or you want to be take liberty from them and enslave with God? Who will help you when you need? At the moment, society become our God means it telling us how to live life how to socialize we following command you have to go to friday drinking otherwise if you don't drink you're not in our society yeah. so society preached a religion that heading towards you that you know detrimental way of your life and also forgotten you the who the true true maker is so islam fix both issue horizontally vertically everywhere and then it's stand by its truth, own claim and its stream. and the Quran it goes to when you read Quran I'll guarantee you when you read Quran you will realize it is indeed word of Allah that is one of the things I can truly tell you but you have to read it with prejudiced mind yeah. no, I, I appreciate that and I appreciate your time I thank you look after yourself but also think about your journey my, my friend no, life is short it is, I, it is. Uh, and we need to uh, speak again, you know. Yeah, it was a pleasure. I'll see you around. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.